For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that to continue to the last video session like um, Nagios Core installation. After that, um, we are going to add the host to the Nagios monitoring. How we are going to add this host to the monitoring. So in this video session, we are going to see that how to add Windows Server into the Nagios monitoring. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. So how we can define the host definitions and the service definitions. Um, and how we can monitor and create the contacts and contact groups and how we can define the service templates all this uh, stuff we are going to see in this video session so first of all in order to check it up this so we have windows machine so we need to install with the ns client so ns client i'm just going to the ns client.org over here and download the latest ns client from here okay this is for uh, windows and uh, behind just uh, download 64 bit over here so the ns client is downloading you can see this Now the NS client is downloaded successfully and now go to the downloads and see this. This is the NS client and uh, install this NS client. Next. So here I am just using a generic NS client plus plus and now uh, complete installation I would like to install and allowed host. Here you have to provide your Nagio server IP address over here. So let's see guys what is my server IP address. My server IP address is 192.168.2.8. Okay. Let's install add this. And here you have to just provide the password. What are the password it is? I'm just simply providing password is the password. Now enable NS client. Okay. And if you want to use NRPE over here, so you can use that. But uh, I'm currently not using NRPE. I'm using uh, check underscore NT for checking this and if you want to enable this NSCSA client and this is an optional you can enable it okay next and install this finish sometimes the services will not start automatically you have to just go to services dot services and um, verify whether ns client is started or not so this is the ns client plus plus which is uh, running fine see this ns client plus plus monitoring agent which is running so now go back to the server over here go back to the uh, slash sr local nagios libx or here we have the plugins so here we have check underscore nt uh, first of all we just go ahead and uh, verify that whether it is working fine or not okay so in okay so let's verify that whether the server is responding to this uh, server or not using this plugin so iphone h is the host name 192.168.1.113 is the server ip address now iphone s argument so argument one so what is the argument you have to give so what you want to verify whether i would like to verify the uptime of that server iphone s in the sense uh, password password is password iphone p one two 489 is the port 
port number and iphone v so what is that um, argument is over there that is uptime now verify uh, so now you can get this that could not fetch the information from the server which means that you are not getting any response from that server let's verify that our server is pinging from here or not okay you can see this 192.168.2.8 is our um, not use ip okay so this is the problem like uh, I'm able to reach the server from Nagios to over here, but I'm not able to reach from here to there. So that's why I'm getting that uh, response that server is not able to, could not able to get the any information from there. So let's verify that how the network is connected. So now I have restarted my Windows server and uh, changed the IP to the same IP series. And I can see that now IP config is 192.168.2.10 is the IP and ping my Nagio server from here is I'm able to reach the server okay and let's go back to the Nagio server console over here and uh, try to fetch the information using this now you can get that uh, NS client error no performance data for command check underscore go back to the Windows server and edit the uh, NS client configuration and uh, whichever that external commands and uh, helpers all this you just need to enable and save this configuration file so you just enable all of this like wherever it is disabled you just say that uh, enabled and enabled enabled So enable. Now save the configuration file and uh, check it up. All are saved it and again uh, hit save configuration file. Now go back to the services. Services dot msc enter and uh, restart this uh, NS client service. Now let's go back to the Nagio server and verify the command. Okay, the command is working fine. Now verify again one more command um, whether it is working fine or not. Okay, so let's see this uh, check underscore nt and maybe I can uh, check it up for uptime. So uptime is working fine, right? So let's go back to the server and check it up this what is the uptime over there and go to task manager and um, click on expanding and performance and click see this um, uptime is 19 minutes over here right which is change now go back to the server and uh, again execute the command and check it up then what is the uptime so it is 19 minutes that's fine what we have to do is that we have to go to slash sr local Nagios etc or here and uh, go to the objects and add this copy this windows.cfg file to example say maybe I am just going to say windows server.cfg file over here and uh, edit that file so I am editing this configuration file so in order to do all this stuff I am just uh, cleaning up here I'm just adding that uh, host definition right so here my host definition is going to be not this I'm just uh, deleting this host definition and I will add the new definition over here okay so maybe define underscore host and open the process and host name host underscore name so whatever the name you would like to give over here 
example say that my server name is windows 2012 tech dot local so this is the f file name and use so what is the use of this one so this is the template which is deriving from the uh, templates dot configuration file you can example say that um, if you go to the templates dot cfg or here so here there are some templates already pre-configured maybe so i'm just adding to this generic host over here okay now just go here and add that generic host now alias alias in the sense whatever the definition name you can put it over here example say that i say windows server 2012 and uh, located in uh, india maybe you can write uh, contact windows administrators something like this anything you can write as much as the descriptive uh, for identifying that server and uh, you have to add the ip address of that server 192.168.2.10 is my server ip address okay now how many times it should check so this all you can add it over here so host groups okay notification interval all this stuff you can add it so uh, uh, otherwise you can not add also that would be fine but i have already defined this uh, information so i'm just copy paste over here so this is what i'm defining maximum attempts check interval is every five minutes retry one time retry interval is every one minute and uh, check period so how much uh, when it should check it should check for uh, 24 by 7 and what is this contacts okay contacts is Najos admin and contact group is admins and interval contact notification interval how many times um, it should send if if you say zero it only sent one time it will it will not repeat again and notification enabled whether if it is if you say zero notification is uh, not enabled and um, this is the status map and icon image this is an optional to identify that whether whenever you see on the graphical interface which can show you that okay this is a windows icon over there so the server with windows icon okay you can see simply identify that okay this is an a windows server okay like this you can add it on to the host group if you want to define over here or else you can also add this uh, host group options over there on the server itself so i'm just uh, def deleting this one i don't want to add any host groups over here now service definitions so you have to add the service definitions in order to check what are the services you would like to check over here so there are some by default uh, check-ins over here so it says that um, explorer and uh, these are the old uh, check-ins so okay so i'm just deleting all these service definitions maybe I keep one in the last okay this is the service definition i kept over here but i would like to define a new service over here so service definition i'm just going to define over here so okay maybe i copy the same one and paste it over here i say this definition is for cpu usage verification something like this okay now use uses generic service so this is derived from the templates so where you define that uh, service definition over there so that is the templates and host name whatever the host name you defined on that um, um, above over here this is the host name you have to define the same host name over here no need to define any service over here and service description so what is the service description over here i say that uh, cpu usage and command what is the command you have defined so you have to go to the commands.cfg file and see that uh, what is that command you have um, put over there 
okay so that is what you have to verify let's go back to the vi dot commands commands dot cfg and you can see over here that's check underscore NT is defined so this is how it is defined so first of all host name and the port number is already default and arguments two arguments it's going to be accepting so now you are just going to define the same over there Windows server dot CFG and now you can define this whether NT password is password and I'm just going to define this CPU load and uh, what is this um, warning over here and uh, 90 95 is the CPU threshold so I am specifying that warning and critical definitions over here and uh, maybe the same one I'm just going to copy from the above to over here so the maximum attempts and the contact group notifications all this stuff you can simply copy paste over here the same stuff maximum check attempts and check interval retry interval check period notification interval notification period notification enabled or not who should be contacted who is the contact group and if you register the templates that would be a permanent uh, template so I'm not going to register over here okay this is what the service is now I'm just deleting this one right so the same service definition I'm copy from here to here and change the command and service description so service description maybe uh, I'm just writing something like uh, drive C disk usage so here you have to verify that uh, what is the command over here used disk space iPhone L warning is 90 and critical is 95 and add the same information over here so these are the second service and you can add a number of services over here maybe disk d or memory utilization and file page filing all the stuff so i'm just um, i already made all of these commands in a other uh, way i'm just copy pasting that services now we have to edit the nagios configuration file because uh, i did not added the uh, configuration over here Be uh, like uh, we have to add that configuration file over here example copy this and add that configuration file over here windows server dot cfg file otherwise you can just define the directory over here and add that servers into that definite maybe like you can define this um, cfg configuration file in the etc and create the servers directory and put that servers over there so example i just comment over here and go back to this 
mkdir p and create this and uh, move this file slash usr local nagios etc object windows server to this path okay now go back to over here and you can see this this is the configuration file we have moved it now verify the nagios configuration whether it is working fine or not let's enter this command nagios uh, iphone v and nagios.configuration file let's verify you can see this error some like uh, invalid host type underscore host on this configuration file line number two so let's go to over here and see this line number two define host so now again verify that okay so now there is no warnings there is no errors so let's reload this service system ctl restart maybe or re reload also would be fine okay now let's go back to the uh, console 192.168.2.8 slash nagios and now we can type over here you can see this the windows 2012 service um, server it is checking for the services okay let's wait for few minutes then the service would be back online and now you can see this the windows also added over here so you can report that um, cp load average and uh, c drive memory paging and uh, system of time minutes so this is how this uh, system has been added the windows now you can go back to the uh, see this host group summary you can see this the windows server has been added over here you can see this this is the windows server so i will post out this um, configuration the host definition service definition and um, what is the command you have to add onto the command into the my github repository look for that on the my github repository thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and uh, courses please follow us on social networking sites if you have any technical related questions, you can ask.